Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down for this question, okay? It's really serious, I need you to bear with me. Came up, um, what about your bio or what is not in your bio that you would want other people to notice and or recognize? And so, a couple of things about that is two very important, pivotal moments that happened to me in my life that has kind of aided in creating what you see right now, the Jimmy War Mize that you see right now. Um, number one, it actually happened with my mother. Ooh, I hope you're ready for this one. So I remember um, I had been out on my own and you know, I'm extra. And so when I moved out of her house, I moved into my own house. Um, I was not renting, I was purchasing. It was actually mine. Uh, three bedrooms, two baths. And I remember her coming over. I had probably been there for maybe a year. And um, whenever she would come over, I would clean up. You know, I would do a big mass clean because I wanted my mom to know that I was doing well on my own and I'm doing it, mom. And so I remember her saying she was on her way and, and something. And so I remember doing a deep, deep clean um, from vacuuming to the, the bathrooms and the baseboards. And, and so I ended up cleaning up the kitchen and I remember spraying this stuff on the, on the stove or something crazy. And by the time that she'd gotten there, I thought I was done and, you know, smelled really good. I mean, it was just, it was amazing. I was so proud of myself, right? She gets there, she goes to the house, we speak for a few minutes, and I remember her looking in the kitchen and looking at the stove. And you know how you can spray stuff on the stove and it gets all the 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 um, the scruff marks up and it was literally in a pile. I just hadn't picked up the pile to throw it away. And I remember her looking at it and she was just like, what is that? And I remember looking at my mother saying, excuse me? Because in my mind, I'm like, I did all this cleaning and you want to point out the one spot that I didn't clean? Are you freaking kidding me right now? And so, although I've never disrespected her and I never will, her opinion is very much so valued. But in that particular moment, I realized something very clear. And I wasn't able to necessarily articulate it until last year after listening to Gary Vaynerchuk. But I was able to, or I'm able to articulate it now to say that her opinion began to be valued a lot less. Initially, it was my mother's opinion is the beginning, the end all, the be all, it is what it is, and my mother is 100% correct. In that moment, I was like, this is it. I'm like, oh no, no ma'am. No, ma'am, I'm not doing anything else to impress you. I'm not doing anything else that is not naturally, authentically me. Crazy enough, she's never asked me to be that person. It was just something that I built in my own mind. And so because of that, in starting my life and my trajectory at that given point of, I'm gonna do more living for me, no matter who is around, you're able to see the person that you see today. You're able to see the authentic person that doesn't care whoever is around. If I don't feel like putting dishes in the sink, honey, I'm going to leave it right there today. If I don't feel like going out to the curb to get the trash can, honey, it's going to stay right there. <laughs> Hi, mom. How are you? Okay. You know, so it's just I'm able to be more of who I am after being able to discover how much I was really, honestly, doing for other people. It is what it is. And number two, uh, which is another pivotal moment, which is actually a quick history into how I met my husband. And um, we did the dance of dating, going back and forth for quite a while. And I remember, <laughs> I remember sitting down with him and we really, we were dating, but we were really trying to figure each other out. And you know, when you're new, you know, you point out all of these things. And I was used to running men away, I guess. I was used to making them conform to what I wanted to then later run away, right? That's just who I was at that time. Don't ask me why. But I remember um, him sitting there telling me, um, or me telling him, I don't like this about you. Um, I don't like this, yeah, and then you do that, and you like this artist, honey, that ain't gonna work. And so I, I don't know what I thought in my mind was gonna be his response. But his response was, look, I know all of my flaws. 
there's not a damn thing about me that you can tell me that I don't already know. And if I'm dealing with it, then you're going to have to deal with it or you can. And so that moment, I was like, no guy had ever talked to me like that before. And so I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like it was not only was it egg in my face, but it intrigued me. That was definitely the man that I needed to marry. He literally was the very first person in my entire life to tell me that I don't know everything, that I, I don't know it all. I can be wrong. He was the very first person to teach me that lesson and still continues to teach me that lesson. So, yeah. Yeah. I wish that was in my bio, that you knew what it really took. <laughs> And the amount of people that have been in my life and have been behind me, pushing me, guiding me, encouraging me, that has all shaped the Jimmy War minds that you see today. If you have a question, um, if there's anything about me that you want to know, if you want advice for yourself, by all means, reach out to me. We're here to inspire you to be the best version of yourself. And if me sharing stories with you assist in that, I'm all ears, baby. Reach out to us at inspiredbyjimmyl.com. Ask your question there and definitely reach out to us on all social media platforms. Love you guys. See ya. <laughs>